Last year we finished with a 19-4 record. Um, we won 17 of our first 18 games, and it kind of happened <laughs> so fast. It was my first year here, and we were still really getting to know each other um, as a coaching staff and players, and it all happened kind of really fast. Yeah. But uh, it was a really, really fun ride. Um, we, you know, lost to Sugar and Falls. We, you know, Hallie was incredible in the playoffs, and I'm really glad that she ended up winning the district. <laughs> it made us feel a little bit better. But um, it was a good learning experience for us. And uh, we're bringing back four of our starters from last year's team. Um, but we were, we were able to accomplish a lot of good things last year. 55 points a game. Offensively, defensively, we were holding people to 35 points a game. Um, so as far as the numbers went, it was pretty gaudy for us. We had a blast last year. Uh, Alex, uh, you, you played basketball outside of uh, playing in high school, uh, mm -hmm. but what was this past year like for you? You know, what, what did you learn from that getting ready for this year? Um, for the, over the summer, or do you mean last? Oh, for last, uh, this past season. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, what I really learned is that um, I think since Nicole has left that there's going to be someone that needs to take the leadership position and try and help run the team a little bit. Um, so I think I'm trying to step into that position this year and try and lead my team to six or lead the team to success. And um, I'm working on my shot a little bit more. And yeah, and, <laughs> that answer your question. And, and Alex was talking about Nicole, you know, what, Kind of share with readers what's it like having her on the floor and then now trying to find out what to do with I, her. I tried to tell everyone I could come in contact with. This is by far the best high school athlete I've ever encountered in my 10 years of coaching baseball, basketball. I've coached a lot. Um, girls like that don't walk into the gym. She was maybe the best perimeter defender, boys or girls basketball, I've seen at the high school or collegiate level. I think we had her around just over seven steals a game. And when you look in the NBA and the league leaders around two, and you look at the amount of quarters they play, she, her ability to defend and, and steal the ball on the perimeter was something probably singular to only Nicole Felice. Um, she was a great leader. She was very gracious with me um, as a new coach, and she was very receptive. And, and honestly, that was the reason for our success. She bought in day one. The other girls bought in day one. And she kind of set us up moving forward, but you don't replace Nicole. You just figure out how to adapt and, and change your systems without her.